Father was not dead, he had been transformed into a water baby and was truly happy for the first time in his life. He had been sadly overworked in the land world and now he had nothing to do but to enjoy himself. He looked at the pretty things that floated on the cool, clear water where the sun is never too hot and the frost never too cold.
Well, in the meantime, Tom was happy enough swimming around in the sea, but he was lonely. He wanted someone to play with. He had been told there were other water babies, and yet he could not find them. And then, one day, he found a new friend. <laughs> what a curious creature. One would think from the brother's grin, or maybe Stroll Peter. There is something for me Help me! Help me! But how did you get in? If I thought I got in, I could get out! But why did you get in? This is some nasty piece of dead fish. Let her go. Can't you see she's dead? It's quite fun amongst us lobsters. Let me tell you a story about a distant ancestor of mine, the Mayor of Plymouth. And uh, <laughs> it won't take long.
you've been such good little water babies, caring for the rock pools and feeding the sea anemones. I'm going to give you an extra ration of...
You'll have to be in the swing, but you'll have to fly. But I can't fly. Well, in that case, I'll have to take you in my trolley and take you up there. So hop on my trolley. <laughs>
years of hard drink and hard labor had reduced Grimes to a shadow. And as Tom entered the dark room and saw his barely animate figure, he asked himself how Grimes had inspired such terror in him. <laughs> All that Grimes had left was a clay pipe and a song.
I told you it was a fairy tale. Did you believe it? <laughs>